Good Friday! This is Kotap, I'm Marian and today we get to build our first table in HTML. In the previous lesson, which you can find the link at the top or in the description below, we've discovered HTML comments and we use them to write our intent from the wireframe to build a section for the menu and a section for the content. Now let's find out how tables work. On the website W3Schools, after we've looked at comments, further down we can find HTML tables. So let's scroll a bit. Yes, chapter summary. We'll talk about table, tr, which is a table row, and td, which is a table data. Okay, so to understand tables, I've prepared on the left side, table as a graphic, and on the right side, table as HTML. So, in order to build the table, which right now it's empty, doesn't have anything in it, all we have to do is write the table tag, the starting part of it and the end part of it. After that, we want to make a row. And in order to make a row in HTML, we need to specify a TR, which stands for table row, as a start tag and as an end tag. And in this row, if we want to have data like an ID, first name and last name, all we have to do is write a table data that has a start tag and an end tag and the content of it is ID. The same will do for first name and last name. So all these table data cells will sit inside the table row which in turn sits inside the table. If we want to have a second row, let's write another TR tag that has a starting and an ending part. And inside this one, if we want to have some data like one first name Marlon and Torres as last name, all we have to do is write a bunch of TD tags with the content inside one for this one, Marlon for Marlon and Torres for the Torres cell. Wow, let's make another one, another row and another TR tag. And in this row we'll have some more content and guess what? Again, more TDs with the content inside them. It doesn't end here, we can add more of them, another row and another TR tag and some more content and the representation of it in HTML and guess what? It happens again and again and again so another TR and another set of data which in HTML we represent like that more TDs Let's see if it's in action Let's copy this content Open a notepad file, paste it in, save it, I'll save it in HTML as table.html. Now let's minimize a few of those ones. So in here, we have HTML and table HTML. And if we open this one, we can see our table being rendered with the values that we've written. Now let's get back to our actual website. And we were looking into basic.html. So over here, let's write table and close it. And inside table, we'll write a tr, a stable row and close it. And inside this one, we'll write 
ti di tag and here we'll have the menu and close it okay and one more td tag and in here we'll move this content Okay, and this comment will move it over here. Let's save it. So we have our table that starts and ends here. Then we have a TR that starts and ends here. And the TD. In here we'll have later on the menu which will be taken care in the next lesson. And this, the, this is the second TD which is holding our content so let's make sure that we saved it and in our browser we can see basic HTML with the menu here and the content over here in the next lesson we'll learn how to build a list and in that list we'll have links that point to our HTML files that we've already written Be sure to leave your questions or thoughts in the comments below and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so. I'll see you in the next lesson. Until then, happy coding!